Hi guys, uh, this is Avik. I was just playing around with RX4 a little bit and I thought that I would uh, show you guys how to use RX4 Connect, okay? So I have RX4 open. Let me go back to Pro Tools. And so the first thing to do is start a new track, okay? So actually, so just right click, new, Stereo track, aux track, create. And you can double click on this thing and rename it RX4 Connect. Okay. Okay, so the first thing to do is go in here. And under Instrument, Isotope RX4 Monitor. Okay, and it says here, Disconnected. Okay, so now we go to RX4. Under Edit, Preferences, under Audio Tab, choose RX4 Monitor. Hit OK. Go back to Pro Tools, and now it's connected. Okay, so now you go to Audio Suite. Under Noise Reduction, Isotope RX4 Connect. And the Connect window opens up. And so let's say you want to adjust this first clip here, okay? So, I've, I've done a lot of projects that are 100% handheld, so... All right, so let's... Uh, All right, I just realized that the sound, uh, when I play it, is going to sound weird because uh, Pro Tools has taken over my sound card, and so I can't really screen record any of the sound, so it's going to sound really weird. I've, right. I've done a lot of... Anyway, the point is, let's just show you how to use RX4 Connect, okay? So let's say I'm going to adjust this particular clip. So you choose the clip, and... Make sure it's under repair, hit send. And it says audio clip now available in RX. So go back to RX4. So that's the clip, okay? I've, I've, I've done a lot of projects that are 100% handheld. So the, the okay. So again, I apologize that the you're listening to my speakers uh, and not the computer audio. But, uh, so let's say we're going to make some adjustments here uh, in this audio. So let's say we're going to do some dialogue denoising. And I'm not really going to, we could play it, I guess. I've, I've, I've done a lot of projects. And let's just say that I'm happy with the settings and I'm hit process. So we're going to do some dialogue denoising. And let's say we're going to really boost the levels up. And I just want to show you guys this because, uh, let's just boost it up because it will be easier to see. So, and so let's say we've changed the levels and did some uh, noise reduction and we're done with all the adjustments we need to do on this clip and we need to go back to uh, Pro Tools. So come back here and say send back. Click on this comes back to Pro Tools, and it says, press render to commit changes. So now observe this, okay? Watch this thing when I hit render. Right, you see that? So whatever changes I made in RX4, it brought those changes into Pro Tools, okay? So basically RX4 Connect allows you to, like, use RX4 completely as a standalone software, right? I mean, you could use like noise reduction from in here too, right? You could go to noise reduction and go to Isotope uh, Dialog Denoiser and it'll open it up in here, right? But in case you don't want to use this, in case you want to use all the other 
modules at once when you're correcting your audio, that's when you use RX4 Connect, okay? So that's basically the idea of how to use RX4 Connect. Hopefully this video was helpful to you guys. I've also used uh, RX4 with Adobe Audition, and if any of you need to know how to use RX4 with Audition, RX4 Connect with Audition, just uh, let me know and I'll make you another video.